Hi guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Thanks so much for stopping by today. This is kind of part two of my haul. That way my video wasn't so long. So if you continued on to this one, awesome. I hope you guys are still excited to see what I got. Okay, here we go. This is um, MFT. I got it a while ago. So um, I'm just now showing you guys. So I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you all the goodies that I got because there's a lot and it is heavy. So let's just do this. And I love seeing this box on the door. I'm sure you guys do too. It's like your birthday every time you get to see this box on your doorstep. Okay, so MFT. I ended up getting, let's see here. Ooh, okay, some paper pack, um, paper replenishment kind of things. Let me back out. I mean, that is really close, right? Okay. So this one is called Corn Flower Prestige. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue. I don't know if that picks up right, but you have all those lights there. I have this beautiful tangy orange. It's a nice, nice orange color. It's almost like a poppy orange. I went ahead and I got some chocolate for the monkeys. It's called Hot Fudge Prestige. I guess they're all prestige, right? And this is like a chocolatey type of color. This is the white that I told you guys I wanted to try. I really wanted to try their white. It's called sm yeah, Smooth White. So I got that guy right there. And then this one I thought was beautiful. This is, um, nope, that was Amazon. Okay, um, this one is Limeade. It's really a beautiful bright green. So I got that one right there. Um, this is a different store. But this was Amazon, so since we're here, right? I got a pack of this for $7.47 and it is the 20 sheets of the 8.5 by 11, the Spectre Noir white cardstock for alcohol markers. Very excited about that. Okay, still with MFT, I went ahead and I got the Gill Friends stamp set. I just, I stayed up late for this, guys. I love this stamp set. I mean, again, Bertie Brown. I guess you guys are pretty familiar with it by now, but I'd flounder without you. Hello, you blow me away. Thank you. Hey, girl friend, birthday fishes. I'll help you turn that frown upside down. Kiss, kiss. And then you have a bunch of fun sea stamps here. You have all the fish, the big fish, the matching fish, the seaweed, the coral, things like that. Absolutely love this stamp set. Um, here are the tank um, shaker windows. Now you guys might be asking yourself, how is that different from the gift card um, shaker card? And that is exactly what I asked myself too. So I wanted to compare them. On the gift card, you have rounded corners. On the tank, you do not. And they are a little bit different in size if you see that. The tank is a tad smaller and, um, and again, square points, whereas the gift card is rounder and a little bigger. So if you guys were wondering that, there's your answer. So you get, um, it's just called large rectangle shaker pouch. And I don't know how many you get in here. I think 10, so that one. Of course, the little jelly belly. And then I got a pack of the rainbow, is that what it's called? Rainbow Garden Assortment. I thought this was beautiful. Let me see, does it say what you get in here? rainbow it doesn't tell you how many but I believe it's two of each so it's 24 but you guys they're very high quality envelopes um, it has the ceiling adhesive on it so you can see right there and again very high quality and it's the straight edge which I like because that's good for washi tape or if you have a special runner stamp when it's a V flap, it makes it harder to decorate the back of your envelope if that is what you mean to do. It's easier with you know our border stamps and things like that to decorate uh, straight flaps in my opinion. So that's why I prefer to get the straight flap. Okay, put that guy back in there. Love these envelopes. Okay. The only other envelopes I really like are from Sugar Pea Designs. I really like their envelopes too. And so this was the free with 60. It's called Happy Hello. 
and you get this sunshine die in the back there and you also get this stamp set a happy hello thank you for guarding my heart i can't not smile around you i fancy you oh that's so cute and cheers and then you have the little guardsman here with the tower or isn't that big ben right so very very cool i'm going to be giving this away because i don't need it i think somebody else could benefit from this so um I actually spent 60 so that I could get the free gift so I could give it away. Okay, so there is that. Oops. All right. So, next. All right. MFT is done. I can finally get... Oh, sorry. There was one last thing from there. Forgive me. Um, this stencil. This is the Waves stencil. And you guys, I discovered something really cool about this stencil. And I'm not going to tell you what it is right now because I'm going to be doing a video. But... You guys, this stencil is so cool. If you don't have it, you need to get it. And you'll see why when I do my process video. But again, you have the four sides of waves like that. And then actually eight if you flip it over and do it again. I absolutely love that. Okay. MFT done out of the way. Now let's do uh, scrapbookpal.com. ScrapbookPal.com, I went ahead and I got a couple stamp sets, some glitter, some ink refills. So I got two ink refills. I got a few more of my Copic Chows to um, supplement my range. And um, I'm trying to get more of the E70s. And I really didn't have that many yellows. So um, what I do is I watch Marker Geek. Um, you know, everybody knows Elaine. And what I do is I watch her color. And when she's uh, coloring images that I really like, I'm going to give you an example here of what I do. If I can find it. Of course, now that I'm talking to you guys. Okay, there we go. So, for example, she was coloring one of the Stampin' Bella images. And I have that stamp set and I got it because I really enjoyed the way she colored it. So I watch her and when she's coloring, I write down what she uses. So on the mushroom in the background, this is what she used, right? For the flowers, that's what she used. And then on the other part right here, that is what she used. So what I do is I write all those down and then I cross reference them with my Copic sheet to see what I have and my comparables, like in my Spectrum Noirs and things like that. If I don't have it, then I put it on my wish list. So I basically just keep building up a wish list on scrapbookpal.com and anytime I can afford to buy a few, I do. I mark it off and then I mark it off my list. So that's my process on how I buy new markers because if not, I think I would be all over the place. I would just be buying random colors whereas I wanna buy colors that I know I'll use on stamp sets that I already have. So I hope that helps some of you. Okay, because these guys are expensive. All right, then while I was there, I went ahead and I got another Lawn Fawn glue tube. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. It's not my ride or die. You guys know that I'm an iCraft Thermoweb adhesive lover, but this tube is easy to use. I've never once had this thing clog, so I got another one of that. So I'm very excited about that. While I was there, I went ahead and I picked up two of these Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitters. I was curious, so I tried it out. Let me show you guys this. Um, I tried it on a couple different things, so I'm going to show you everything I tried it on. Okay, here's one and two. Okay, so I did this little koala bear's belly. Do you see how cute? I just put down some basic glue. And then um, I sprinkled. I pinched it and just sprinkled it on his belly. I thought that was so cute. Okay. Then I was messing around with one of my... Um, oh, and I should tell you about that. I joined the Craft and Desert Divas Digital Stamp Club. If you guys don't know about that, it's 7 bucks a month. And she gives you $14 credit to buy digital stamps from her website every month. It does not roll over, so you have to use it that month. But Craft and Desert Divas has so many digital stamps. 
I was blown away. I didn't even use all my $14 because I was just like, wow, there's so many. But here are three of the ones I got. And let me show you the rest of them. I totally forgot about this, you guys. Here's the rest. So these were all, here, I just cut it right there. These were all the images I got. And again, the club is $7 a month. It might be $7.99, forgive me. Um, I'll put the link down below so you guys can go over and check it out. But it's a very generous program. So basically what happens is uh, you get special discounts for being part of the club and then you get $14 a month that you can spend. So, um, you know, you might rack up on images and go, okay, that's enough and cancel your membership. Okay, you just really got a great deal. So anyways, here's three of the ones I got. I got this little latte guy, this Harry Potter cake, and this unicorn cake, but I just covered it up to see the glitter effect so that I could show you guys. But I really do like the chunky glitter. I think it's quite pretty. So that's that. So I got two of those so that I could actually, you know, give one away and have one for myself. And then I do like this, I don't know, something about this koala. I just think he's so cute. Okay. Um, and then I went ahead and I got two stamp sets while I was there. Your one in a chameleon. So cute. And then this rar means I love you in dinosaur. Um, so cute. Just found out that one of um, the girls I kind of work with, her little girl loves dinosaurs. So I wanted to make her something special dinosaur-y. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, that is it from Scrapbook Pal. Now, I did get a little order in from Simon Says Stamp. I'm just gonna show you some of the things here. So I accidentally, I don't know if I showed you guys this already, but I accidentally bought two of these Hero Arts Acetate Sheets. In the description, it says Acetate Cards. But when you keep reading, it talks about that they're sheets. So each pack has 20, and basically they're just three by four, like basically three by five acetate sheets. I was trying to buy the cards. So rather than, and they were six bucks a piece. So rather than return these, I'm just gonna gift them. But I am really bummed out about that. I wanted the cards. But I went ahead and I got the Brutus Monroe Sand Castle Embossing Powder, okay? And I went ahead and I got the Brutus Monroe Mermaid Tail Embossing Powder. And I got the Cosmic Shimmer Granite Paste. I wanted to see differences. Okay, here is this guy, the Mermaid Tail. I'm not that impressed. I know some other people complimented it, but you guys, it's basically like blue embossing powder. It does not do that. Do you see how it makes it look like it's got the blues and the greens? It doesn't, you guys. And to boot, let me show you. To boot, do you see that? That's how much you get. Like, the container's not even half filled you guys and this stuff is expensive I ugh, I hate to leave bad reviews you guys but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you I, I'm not gonna buy this again look at that you get less than half and no she did not take up that much glitter <laughs> that embossing powder she was like a pinch so not only is it pricey you don't get a lot at all but it does not do the blue green effect it's just blue so i am a little bummed out there but anyways i got that guy so you guys take it or leave it that just you know that's going to be on my regret list of that video that i'm making okay so i wanted to compare the different types of sands so i did um now here is this one right here the embossing powder by brutus monroe and this is how it comes out you see that it bubbles a little bit and it does have some gold highlights and it does look like sand it's a very shiny sand but it's sand okay and it's flat you can rub it that's one of the nice things you can rub it you can cut it anything like that now the cosmic shimmer granite paste you guys ready for this first let me show you first I should have showed you this okay this is the embossing powder that's what it looks like looks like sand 
literally looks like sand okay now here is the cosmic shimmer granite paste I love cosmic shimmer I really do you see that it looks like wet sand from the beach like if you literally were to dig into the beach and pull something like a handful up that's what it looks like okay and let me show you it looks like on paper my girlfriend Vaughn Marie sent me this stamp and let me see here look at that you guys I hope it is coming across as awesome on camera as it is in real life it's three-dimensional you see that it's three-dimensional it's flaky it actually looks like little chunks of sand from the beach do you see that and once it dries it's hard until it dries it's really moldable literally like you've dug into the beach and pulled out some wet sand I think it's beautiful so here they are side by side and just so you guys can see the difference here I think that's gorgeous you have like little flakes of granite and then this is more of a flat and cuttable kind of powder so there's that move that out of the way I think they're gorgeous I definitely am going to buy more uh, granite paste from cosmic shimmer I am in love now okay so those three things so I hope that that helped you make um, some purchasing decisions if you guys were on the fence or thinking about any of those um, again I'm putting together my top favorites that are not like everybody else's. I'm not putting the same scissors, the same tapes, the same papers, things like that. Mine are, my video is gonna be a little different. And my top regrets, because if I could help one person out from you know spending some money they'll never get back, then it's worth it. Okay, so that was that. Now, um, again, from Amazon, I've that paper I showed you from Spectre Noir, I got a three pack of these, uh, Uniball Signo white gel pens. Just stop for a second, you guys. If you're not looking at the TV, look at the TV. How did I not have these for all of these years? Here I was thinking that my little jelly roll pen was all the white that I needed. You guys, I am such a fool. These are in my opinion the best white gel pen oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay here's a piece of dark chocolate it's gonna draw a heart that was my jelly roll and then this is a new guy let's see if he's primed okay what a difference I don't know if you guys can see let's go close what a difference what a difference my jelly roll skips a lot too this uniball has been amazing amazing it is a constant slick flow i don't have to sit here and do this thing where i'm like ding, 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 you know to get the, the gel going i absolutely love 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 the signa ball or, right is that what it's called the unit <laughs> signo uniball you guys, I got um, a three pack for I think $4. I just had to wait a little bit, but it was through Amazon. I will link it below. If you do not have a good white pen for your crafting, get it, get it, get it, get it. You need this. Okay, that's how serious I am. You gotta get it. Okay, that was that. Now, let me show you a Happy Mail. This is from my friend. Bon Marie. Okay, one second, sorry. I'm trying to set this up. There's her signature. She made this beautiful card with a stamp, anything stamp. You guys may have seen I posted on Instagram. This beautiful, fun paper behind there. And she's actually put a flower coming out of the pot. Is that so cute? And again, you see white pen with the cheeks, white pen with the eyes, white pen on the boots, and she did her highlights here. It really is necessary. And she did this beautiful stacking of these sentiments. I love how she did that. And there's a few there. I really like how she did that. She did it on top of some fun foam. 
Then she made me this gorgeous tag. And it even says, hello, gorgeous. But you guys, look at this. She's done a mesh shaker that she has hand sewn and put sequins behind that. I think that is so fun. And as you guys know, I just bought some tool. So I might try that technique. But I love how she made her dress and her shoes match. She did some embossing here on the front of the dress. And look at this jet black hair. Is that not beautiful? Everything. And she put this beautiful rosette behind here and this gold. I mean, the detail is stunning. And even the ribbon matches everything with the gold. I absolutely love it. Then she sent me this awesome journal set. It's um, basically like almost like a traveler's notebook, but it's beautiful and it's got a gold gilded pineapple. I love this and it's by Crown Jewels. Love this book. And she sent me the stamp set that I just told you guys that I really wanted to own. Oh my God, I just, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The crabs, you have the stamp, the fish, her. You have a second thing here that's like her stamp. And now I believe I have the stamp sticker to match. That's everything you get right there, if you guys can see. I cannot wait to color this out. I am so excited, you guys. The stamp is so large and so beautiful. And now it's mine. I am so excited. Vamri, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. She heard me that I wanted it, and that's not why I told you guys. I just was saying I really wanted to get this one, and I am so excited. And um, also, her and I are doing uh, like a little memory decks switcheroo. We're going to do like a Star Wars theme. And it's so funny because neither of us have gotten around to it yet, but we're like, but we promise we will. It's so funny. Okay. Now, um, that is let me see i think that is all the smaller things i wanted to show you for right this second now i'm going to show you let's see here what am i going to show you the last thing i'm going to show you is um my fat fit fun box that's it okay let's do this and then this video will be over and class dismissed okay here we go so as you can see the teeth marks and the scratches in the box, Hemi brought it in today. <laughs> Hemi is such a good package bringer in her. Okay, so this is what the box looks like this quarter. And again, we've got a Hemi tooth there. And then share to win FabFitFun. I'm gonna come out a little bit. And as soon as I find my little button, there we go. There we go, okay. So you get your magazine here, of basically a guide of what's in here. Then you get, uh, let's just dive right in. Um, you get a Pier 1 tray. Now why is this so cool? Because underneath here, my table is marble. So, well, marble looking. So this matches my table perfectly. So I'm going to definitely use this for like, my little cut and colors. I mean, this is perfect, right? So I'm gonna use that right there. Beautiful little tray, okay? There was a little type of like, um, I don't know, it's like a wristlet type of thing. This opens up and it's like just a little pocket thing, but this is a wristlet. Probably gonna give this away. Um, this really cool earth jewelry. It's one of those rings that you put on around your finger like this so the pearls stick up right here. So you see it like that. I know it looks like a nose ring, but it's not. It goes like that. So very, very nice. You guys, these boxes are worth every single penny. Again, I'll put my link down below. For your first box, you get a ridiculous discount, you guys. It's so worth the money. You get these four times a year and it's worth every penny. So remember, this was $40 and way too, I mean, plus tax, and you'll see everything here. So you get the Tartest, Tart, Tartest, Tart Pro to go. And it's a cute little um, set of eyeshadows. And you take the quiz in the beginning, so they know your colors, they know what does well with you. So this is like a velvet case. It's really pretty with some gold um, gilding here. 
and then this is the sorry about the glare there this is the colors so you get the I'll just read them to you. Drive, Stylin', Hype, Crisp, and then the two glitters are Boss and Dominate. Those are beautiful colors for anybody with brown eyes, such as myself. So I am very excited to try that. Okay. And everybody knows Tarte. They are a very good brand. And um, I believe they're all earth friendly and that type of stuff. Okay, Elemis, Papaya Enzyme Peel. I am so excited to get this. I can't find the piece of paper right now, but I have it written down, that name, Elemis, because I was watching, um, oh my God, I can't remember her name. I follow her on YouTube. I absolutely adore her. Um, she's a British girl. She's got um, really curly natural hair and she has a lot of tattoos. It'll come back to me she was telling me that she got some of their products and they're amazing so i am so excited and you guys i love papaya peels papaya and pumpkin peels are amazing it almost takes off like the first layer of your face amazing okay then i'm avoiding that on purpose i got this kula it's face sunscreen and it's 50 and that is awesome because, um, you know, I'm getting older. I need to protect the, the mug. Okay, one second. Let's try to smell this guy. All right, let's see. Oh, it's so it's nice and thin, kind of watery. So that's nice. It's not like you're putting something too heavy on your face. And it really doesn't smell like much. If it smells like anything, it kind of smells like cucumbers. So really nice. Okay, it doesn't say any scent. So, oh, I'm sorry, it does. White tea. I guess that's what white tea smells like. I would have said cucumber. Okay, very nice. And then this right here, which I thought was cool. It says, this straw saves marine life. Visit give us, give us sip us. I've heard about these before. They're those biodegradable straws. And you can see inside that, well, let's open it up. I'm gonna use it for my art. They have little turtles on there. Is that so cute? So I'm gonna use this for my alcohol and things like um, my alcohol inks where you and you know, you design your paper. So I actually am going to use that in my craft room and uh, I will visit that website. And then look at this, you guys. It's um, by Tarte again, it's called Sex Kitten. This is their liquid liner, oh my God. I'm a liquid liner kind of girl for the ends of my eyes. And look at this. I knew Fiki would go crazy. Look. Okay, come on camera, there you go. It's a little cat head on the end. Is that gonna capture it? There you go. So the end of the eyeliner has a little kitten head. I thought that was so cute. So you have this very, very, very thin tip. And I'll show you how thin, like you can literally just do the thinnest of lines. And it's waterproof, sweatproof, all that. It doesn't come off until you actually scrub it off. And there's that. Okay. Then you have this guy, which is a really cool, like, train case. And it is by Yumi Kim. Now, it opens up really nice here as a cool design. But it also has a top layer, which I thought was really nice. And you guys remember, I just bought all those traveling cases from HSN. Um, so this has a pocket inside here. Again, it has a really nice lining that you can wash off. But what it has here is pockets for, say, your makeup brushes. And then this flap kind of protects them. And then you could put something on top here, too. And you get also a $50 voucher towards um, Yumi Kim. So I thought this was nice. And again, it could be like your toothbrushes, your toothpaste. It doesn't necessarily have to be cosmetics. It could be your art stuff, your art brushes, and then your products down here. But I thought this was a really nice bag. I really thought this was a great deal. And um, it's pretty, nice size. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you, let me put everything in my little Yumi Kim bag. And again, there's a few of these things I'm going to be giving away, and that's fine. That makes me happy to do that. Is this. Now, this is why I was saying to you guys, it's worth every single penny. 
All right. If you guys are familiar with this at all, it's seriously, it's a wrap. This is the Luna. Are they calling it Fofo? Okay, the Ferreo. Now, what this is, is a face washing device. I have the Clarisonic, the original. I mean, I think they have like 20 new versions since my Clarisonic. I'm sure you guys are familiar. But this has been winning so many awards. There is an app. For this that you can download and you can um, you know learn how to use it and all the techniques and other things that it does but you guys this Luna is amazing for skincare it's a I don't even know how to get into this I've actually wanted to get one for quite some time but I didn't want to spend the money but you can see there that's where you charge it I don't know how to open this I guess right here is this I feel like a kindergartner right now and it even said no it doesn't say open oh my god don't you hate it when they do this and you just feel so inadequate how do I get into this thing I think right here you guys let's go for it let's try it I wanted to show you guys this and I also want to see it Okay, there we go that wasn't that hard it was just one sticker okay so here is uh, your little, what? Scratch? Don't know, I'll figure that out. Okay, oh my God, you guys, if you could feel this. Oh my gosh. So anyways, you charge it, right? And I don't know why it's saying take a picture. Oh my God, it's on. Wow, can you guys hear that? Why is it saying like take a picture? That's weird. <laughs> Why is it saying that? Okay, so anyways, these feel amazing on your skin. So apparently these are supposed to really get into the nooks and crannies and the pores in your skin. And if you guys could feel the power of that vibration, wow, 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 wow. So this thing is expensive. So right there, the box is worth it. So after this, basically everything else I showed you was for free. So that's why I'm telling you guys, it's really worth the money. I, it, it really is. So I don't know what they're telling me here about why do they keep referring to my cell phone and a camera. I'm not taking pictures of myself washing my face. Sorry guys, drawing the line. But this is awesome. I am definitely going to use this. I will let you know if there's any like major improvements in my skin, but this is really cool. I'm excited about that. Okay guys, that's it. That is all I have to share today. Um, I will be back very again. I will be back again very soon with the process video. I have some really cool projects coming up. If you have not subscribed, please do. Please do. If you like the video, please like it. Um, also, if you guys have any special requests on a video you'd like to see or something that you'd like me to do, please let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys. And that's about it. All right. Have a great day. Please come back for more.